Hello, hello, how are you? I hope you're doing fabulously today. So one thing about me is I don't like to stay in one place for too very long. I've been here for about a week now and um, I'm about to leave tomorrow to go on this awesome adventure. And I'm inviting you to come along with me because I think it's gonna be really cool. So today is um, adventure prep in a sense. So I'm gonna go to the store, grab a couple of things so I can get super prepared for the adventure starting tomorrow. Hi! So I just got back from the store. Well, I'm not back from the store. I was going to show you my bags, but they're down there. They're sliding around. Um, but any hoozles. So tomorrow I am starting a road trip and this is probably one of the biggest tests I feel of feeling like I am provided for. Um, I feel like everything is about to change and shift in my life and it's going to be very magical and in a way that I don't expect. So I'm excited to go on my trip. Um, I don't know if what's shifting is just my mindset. I don't know if what's shifting is my lessons. I have no idea but I feel there's this huge shift right now and I can't really see but the wind is blowing really hard outside. We're bringing in all of that new energy. It's gonna be a good one. So I just got back from the store and I wanted to show you what I got. So being a mostly vegan person is really hard on the road. So in order to make sure that I have something to eat, I am going to pack a few things. So I got um, some bread. I have no idea if this is vegan safe. I just know it doesn't have dairy in it. So that's all I was really going for there. The BioLife. I forgot to check on this one, but yes, I can have this too. Got some fake chicken, turkey that I already ate, almond butter, and preserves so I can make my fancy versions of peanut butters and jellies. And I have chickpeas. Um, it's like a garam masala. No, an Indian dish. It's made with chickpeas. So today I went and got my car an oil change, topped off its fluids. It's really important to make sure that you do that before you take any road trip. I highly recommend anything over three hours. Definitely make sure your oil is good, your transmission fluid's good, your wiper fluids are good, your tire pressure is good, all of that good old stuff. It's good to be safe on the road. So I'm packing a lot of things that I wouldn't normally pack, um, like my yoga mat because I'm going to a yoga retreat. I'm so excited. I've never been to one of these before in my life. So it's gonna be a really cool time. But that being said, I feel like this is such a brand new experience for me. I'm really feeling like I'm gonna be called to learn about trust. Um, that's something that I'm really learning about right now, but I feel like this journey is really gonna open it up for me and open up a lot of opportunities and doors for me that I wouldn't have had before. I feel like my confidence is gonna skyrocket during this journey. I feel like I'm going to become more at peace with who I am and that being said, it's going to make it so I feel more solid whenever I'm around other people in general. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you travel solo if you haven't done it already. It's one of the most thrilling experiences that you can have. Just so you guys know, I've never really been a light packer to begin with. Um, my entire life, it's just been something I've struggled with. I've always wanted to be able to pack light, but you never know what you're gonna need. Better be prepared than be sorry. So um, technically, the only thing that I'm supposed to be doing is going to a yoga retreat. Uh, everything else is unplanned, yet I have eight outfits, 10 outfits, and only one of them is a yoga outfit, so I have to figure something out. And if you don't know, right now, I don't have a dresser. So I have currently everything in my suitcase, so I have to unpack my suitcase in order to repack my suitcase and go, yeah. Make, 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 making a sandwich, making a sandwich, making a make, 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 making a sandwich, making a sandwich, making a sandwich. Tell that I have hair whenever it's up in a bun. That's why I like to wear it down. Anyways, so <laughs> I've been bringing this deck of cards with me. This is my favorite deck, I want to say. Nothing but pure love has gone into each card. 
and the message that I got for it. You don't see how amazing you are. The rest of us do. The rest of us see that creative person, that beautiful person, that gentle heart, that gentle soul. We see that in you, but you forgot just how amazing you actually are. And in order to get back in tune with that amazingness, you have to get in tune with yourself. You have to start learning how to trust yourself again. This is going to be an interesting adventure for you, my queen. It's time for you to explore your inner self. Your inner child has been calling you for quite some time. And now it's time for her to come out and play. Everything that you did not have clarity on before will become clear. And it's okay where you are right now. It's okay to find clarity within yourself before expressing it outwards. That's okay. That's a responsible part of your process, and I commend you for that. Again, time to meditate. Okay, without knocking this up for him. Time to meditate. Okay, whenever you're ready, get in a comfortable position. Breathe normally here for a moment. We're gonna call a little bit of extra attention to our ears right now and the sounds that we hear. What sound is the loudest? Focus on that for just a moment. What sound is the quietest? See if you can single it out. What sound is the furthest away? Notice if you're holding any tension in your body. If you are, breathe into that moment now. Breathe into that place of tension. Filling it up with oxygen and love. And releasing as you do naturally. As you release your breath, make sure to notice all of the beautiful energy. That is now able to stay where the tension used to be. Notice how you relax. You look above and you notice that there's a string above your head, a white string that goes as far as the eye can see straight into the sky. You notice that it attaches to the top of your head. And as the line gets tighter, your body starts to straighten.
feel or see little aspects of self clicking into place as your spine straightens. You are going to work on releasing the fear of the unknown. going to build a fire in front of you and call out all of the fear, fear of the unknown, to be released at the root. Watch it leaving. Watch the root of a plant leave your body. Notice where it comes from, whether your heart, your throat, your sacral, your shoulder, wherever the case may be. Notice if it was short, long, thick, if it had thorns on it. And feel it leaving your body once and for all. Place it right into the fire. And as you do, and it burns away, little fractals of magic, sparkles of dust, float up from the fire pits. They dance around your face, tickling your nose, telling you that you will be okay. And because you released this, you will be blessed. You'll be blessed beyond your wildest imagination. And your imagination can get pretty wild, can't it? <laughs> Congratulations, your guides say well done. We're gonna grab a cup of water Drink as much as we want, and whenever we're ready, we'll pour the rest on our fire. Giving it back to the earth. The smoke says goodbye. Giving you one more kiss and a hug. as she gently takes you by the hand and leads you home. You see yourself sitting in the room where you started. There's one more thing that you want to take out. This one doesn't need a name. You reach into that body and you grab it and you give it to your highest self. They nod at you. And you know. You know that this is being taken care of for your highest good. You know that you can trust your highest self. You know that you can trust you in the universe and everything to work out in your favor. You have always been a magical being. You have always been a magical creature. It's time for you to start remembering that again. On three, we're gonna open our eyes. One, two, three. Welcome back. Is lovely. Day one, 
off to a good start. If you enjoyed this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching!